What's up, everybody? <coughs> Wait a second. I put the socks on. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. I have to do something. And then I put the socks on. <coughs> To load item filter, huh? Rubs the lotion on its skin. Akita. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little late. I'm um, having a late lunch. Man, I mean, I've, I have eaten on stream before, but that one I'm not going to eat on stream. <clears throat> Mostly because people might go away because <laughs> it doesn't always look the prettiest, but it's also tasty. <clears throat> One second. One foot in. Put the lotion on the feetsies. That's a new one. I used to think that's a new song. issues everybody dry skin issues <clears throat> and I still don't know where this came from I can't see it I think there was a scab on there all right so I did something last time not on stream um, <clears throat> I decided to do it when I wasn't streaming for I don't know what reason, but you know what? Hey, I did it anyway. So, I think it's my ascension. I think that's what it is. I did the, the labyrinth or trial or whatever puzzle, so <clears throat> that's done and over with. I kind of, I kind of think back once in a while, I'm like, oh, I should have done that on the stream, but it was kind of frustrating. I died twice. Um, the first one, I I ran into a trap. The first death, I ran into a trap. Um, <clears throat> it was one that goes down like this. With like a spiky thing on it. I didn't see it. It just beamed me in the, beamed me in the head, so <clears throat> died. And then the second time, <clears throat> I was rushing, and I have found out you cannot rush that. Dear God, do not rush that trial, or labyrinth, or whatever the hell that was. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> <clears throat> Third time's the charm, we did it. Okay, motion has been applied thoroughly. Everybody had a pretty good holiday though over the weekend. Oh, the hair is stuck in the armpit. Oh my god. Okay. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> Whatever this is, this is where we went. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, no, I went up here. And I did this thing. And yeah, look. Evidence. I don't know if it's, it just says that these are completed. But I did it. <clears throat> I am not doing that again either. Unless there's like a really nice reward. Although there was a nice reward at the end of that. Yeah, what's the waypoint for? Hideouts, menagerie. Quit the job of your hideout. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's right there. You have completed the Lord's Labyrinth and earned your ascendancy. I don't want to go back. <laughs> nah, it wasn't that bad, but I felt like I was a little underpowered to go into that. <clears throat> Especially with um, that final fight. That I almost died at that final fight. So, I got this and I don't know, I keep like looking at it, I'm like, mm, but I don't know what, what this does. It just says, what does the silver flask do? Because there's another one up here. I mean, this one's better, right? <clears throat> this one is immunity to freeze, chill, curse, and stun. Immunity to freeze and chill, so I think that one's gonna be a little bit better. I'll put this one in um into this stash though. So. Yeah, there's that one. because I want to get through some of these things and I keep using these things but I'm like not using them fast enough I don't know <clears throat> um, I I'll also learned okay. I've also learned that Organizing this. Stop that. Ugh. P. 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 I also learned that you can put put gems in here. I actually started getting these in a, in some drops. I'm like, what are these things? I had to look it up. So <clears throat> that was pretty cool. I don't have a lot of them, but I put them in like some of the places. There's that one. There's this one. And I think there's one more. Maybe I haven't gotten to that part yet. No, I don't think I have. <clears throat> Sup, Orion. All right. So, oh, yeah. Go back to this. This is where we are at. <clears throat> I have entered high gates. Be 
I literally ran to here and then that was it. I logged off. I was, yeah. I didn't log off. I, I ran to here and then I went back and I did the, the ascendancy trial. Oh, this one's back. Also, have you seen what she looks like? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, holy shit! <clears throat> oh yeah, and then that whole entire like dungeony thing with people swimming in blood and screaming, and I was like, damn. I think you guys missed that too. <clears throat> Let me activate this real quick so it stops trying to go to sleep. I will kill the beast? Do I have to? What if it's nice and friendly? Game, how do we smell him? Can I go that way? Guess I'm not needed that way. Oh shit, she's got a kitty. Lizards. Up, <clears throat> Is Sapphire not working on Discord? Yeah, so this is gonna be the weapon person. What? what? 23 to 42.
Uh, okay. Well, hi. Take care. I was debating if I was going to stream today. I'm like, ah, fuck it. Let's just do it. I need to still work on that. It's only Tuesday. Um, I've got... Here, actually, I'll show you. Sneak peek. <clears throat> I need to actually do more of these for those of you who support me on other platforms. So these are the last things I need to add into it, but everything else has been written. So I need one, two, three, four things. Uh, for the guide, like I really want to get that done, but as I said, I, I was looking around last night of how to do that post, because I'm going to do a post on the Bite Vortex, just also for the others that are watching. Um, how else would I have that? The e -zine or the, e the, mag the online magazine thing that we do. And my eye is leaking. Why is my eye leaking? I don't know, my eye is leaking. Anyway. <clears throat> and we try to make a post, at least one post once a week. <laughs> we're, still, we're still getting our footing and everything. But um, I made a couple of things on there, and one of them was like the introduction to the stream pie, which is something I use. It doesn't exactly have to be used for streaming, it has other things, it's much like the touch portal, but I did want to make a post about how I have my stream set up. So, <clears throat> I also need to clean the desk a little bit, and put some things away, especially for the holiday season. So, but yeah, need to work on that. I was thinking about doing some video on it too, but I don't know, man. I'm. I get so conflicted, that's my problem, because I'm like, do I want to do this, do I want to do that, how am I going to do this? <clears throat> gritty? Just do it gritty? <clears throat> Why, so you guys can see the mess that I have on my desk? It's actually not too bad. It's more of like just a little the industrial look. <clears throat> We've got we have a pin cushion. Uh, tape measure. Uh oh, we're missing one of the doggo treats. Monsieur Toast. So we've got three sticky notes that I need to stick up on the board over here. We have a cup full of random miscellaneous doodads, including the uh, flash drives for the three defenders. Yeah, some fabric fray checking glue stuff, so whenever I do f uh, sewing, you put this on the outside and it stops it from fraying, which is a lifesaver. Oh my god. The hair ties, flash drive that I take between desktop and laptop. Electrical tape coaster, ribbon, ribbon that needs to actually be put up, well maybe, mm, no, if ribbon needs to go somewhere else, it's not here, oh, it's supposed to be in the cart, <clears throat> I was using it for something else, oh yeah, I made uh, like Christmassy jingle bell things, then we have the frog, we've got the, the pencil and pen container, wands, we have a fan, so if I want to be super dramatic, Drawing tablet pen, nail polish. Vic, Vic found this again. <clears throat> I really like the Fourth Doctor, like the Fourth Doctor Who. Let's 
some, some string, dice, raspberry pi, little clips that I'm not quite sure. I found these and I don't know where to put them. And then like just other things, we got Destiny 2 tokens that still need to be painted. Little box, this PC board that Nick was working on. <clears throat> yeah, no. Just a little bit of organization, mostly so that I can go and find the- Oh, I got the pins. I need to stick these on my little board, so. Oh yeah. I'm watching you. I'm watching me too. So that's where I came from. What's this way? The dried lake. But what I wanted to do more for my setup was like, I got my tablet here. I ended up not using the other tablet. I did find, I did find, I actually bookmarked it. It's over on Pinterest. If you don't know what Pinterest is, it's like, it's an addiction for people who like to create stuff. I want to be honest. But I found a post on Pinterest um, that allows you to connect a Raspberry Pi with a tablet. And I actually might do that instead of using this little itty bitty screen because this itty bitty screen is supposed to be for another project that I want to do. Uh, is this. If you have ever played Myst, you're not going to know exactly what this is. Also, really great game. Go play it. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> but this is what I've I found this and I I have been wanting to make this for so long that's why I have this touch screen it's supposed to be small enough that fits in the book I have one of the books it's called a Harper's magazine it's what this thing is based off of um, I, this is something I've been wanting to do so something's attacking me I think I don't but as you can see, like this is also like 10 years old at this point, so I'm pretty sure I can update this, get a little bit better things going on in here, but... And then... It's gonna be really loud. <clears throat> I feel like I can do better, especially since this is an older, an older thing. But, nah, I really want to make this. But yeah, you just do that, you open it, like if you know, you know. It's got everything in the back, you glue it everything, turn it on, probably find an emulator at this point. Windows XP, and boom. Like I've touch screen you can interact with it you can play the game I really want to make this so <clears throat> that's what originally this little screen is for yeah, actually this screen is what that's for Yeah, I have the, the book back there. I've got everything. Just much like the Furby project, it's something that I keep wanting to do and I never do it. So.
I don't know, I'm hoping that maybe next year, 2024, maybe I can actually, like, get some of these projects done. Just won something. So that said nut butt, and I'm like, oh, okay. Give. She won a plushie. <laughs> yeah, she's probably gonna be late to the stream. Um, she plays this game. It's a it's a claw machine game, and it's it's legit. I mean, that's where some of these things have come from. That's where that little uh, printing machine came from as well. So, she's actually pretty good at it. She wants the little plushies from them. Some other stuff. But yeah, no, she, apparently she's really good at it. Come on. <clears throat> Believe it or not, my, my family was always kind of okay at carnival games. <laughs> um, I wasn't good at like the whole entire claw machine thing. I'm good at the um, like the, the crossbow stuff because I know that they they purposely make it not easy to do. So you have to take that into consideration. <laughs> Seriously? Oh wow, really? I actually wrote like... Which drawer did I put it in? It's in the bottom one. Oh, I have misplaced the printer. Yeah, it's somewhere. I don't think it's in the top here, is it? Let me put these things and organize them. I don't remember where I stuck it. It's somewhere. But, yeah, there's Kitty. We're talking about you and your little claw machine stuff. Oh, yeah, here it is. Underneath the tablet. This thing. 
I want to use this, but people need to buy from my Ko-Fi shop so that I can use this. Because right now, I'm just using it to print out little cutesy, weird little messages. So... <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah next time somebody orders from my shop you're going to get one of like the little printouts from this and it's actually not that bad they're actually really cute okay, don't don't be aggressive kitty especially after the holiday season I don't know where I stuck the ones that I had printed anyway but yeah Also, the scary part is that you find out where I live. Because <laughs> there's a return address. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know where you're, like, you're gonna you're gonna suffer on that one, I so. And a doll with nighttime garments. What the fuck? I know exactly what you're referencing, but what the fuck? Do ooh la la. You wanna know why you would suffer if you're gonna be stuck with my sister for an hour? Bro. Bro, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of weird weird sayings in activities and not the ones that you think is going to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're still going on about that. Next year's going to be fucking lit, apparently. So you're asking Kitty to be in the kitchen more often than she is already. Oh, man. Lord. Alright, go for it. Ah, oh, biscuits. Surprisingly, I did not get a chance to, to touch the pork this year. I think it's because last time that I did, I was spanking it, and then Vic was just like, yeah, no. Because I was just like, who's a naughty piggy? Oh, yeah, no, I was... I was getting... I was getting... Uh, <laughs> I was getting feisty with that dead piece of meat. Oh yeah, no, I was I was abusive to that. That was like years ago. Ever since then, he won't let me do it. No, we had we got was it like four kilos, six kilos of pork? Because we had it's been like six years since we had since we hosted Christmas here, so. It was fun. It was fun. It wasn't chicken, though. It was definitely pork. Although, Vic was having fun rubbing it, so... We made a, um... A chili... A chili, uh... Sauce. Just, just rub it all over that meat and just spank it. I don't know why. I think it's because whenever you spank it, it jiggles. But, um, we had, we had pork, 
we had rom uh, romaritos, which is like prepued best and rosemary plants variety of some type mixed with mole um, and like a little shrimp thing that goes with it and I think potato it's pretty good um, I actually just finished that's what I was eating before stream um, with uh, an apple an apple salad apple fruit salad um, vinegared potatoes and booze and deviled eggs and pasta. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to limber up, though, the food. I mean, it's kind of like the whole entire reason why... <laughs> nope, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. That's going to sound like a kill people. thinking that's why you always want if you're hunting if you're like hunting people or something that's why you always want to have them run so that your limber the food is limbering themselves up before you kill them oh god what the fuck is wrong with me i don't know i'll never know Yeah, I mean... I don't fucking know. I really don't know. For some odd reason, we're talking about like limbering up food before you cook it because, you know, I, like with chicken, like what Katie was saying, or with other stuff, I mean, whenever you're preparing, especially anything meat, you need to like limber it up and that way it absorbs better and just it cooks better. And then my mind immediately went to that. <laughs> You don't know what? Why cannibalism always comes back up in conversation? I mean, if you're gonna be hunting people down, you want to make sure that, you know, they're limber so that they do it for you and you don't have to sit there and have them do aerobics. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> Please stop staring at me. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no shit. Oh, I did not want to go out here. You don't hear about me for <laughs> hell. You don't hear about me for a couple days. <laughs> oh God. You know who to blame. <laughs> Fortunately, she's not hungry enough yet, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'm going to 
to be honest, here, when you're eating from a taco truck here in Mexico, what the fuck are you actually eating? I mean, they say you're eating this, but... <laughs> oh, God, okay. <clears throat> Well, you're like a dog, Hale. <laughs> now I'm worried. Or something, you usually want to eat the younger ones, right? Because it's more tender. <laughs> oh my god. So I think that would say that Vic is too old. <laughs> no, we could never I have you, dog. Oh. She's still tender. No, you she's want too her? old. She's too old now. <laughs> oh my god. She's, she's body trained. <laughs> She's a good doggo. <laughs> she was actually really good with the company that came over. Oh, man. Ah. <sighs> She's not exactly like livestock that you would eat on the farm, but usually like you want to eat the younger, younger ones because that's when they like there's a there's a there's an age, especially with like cattle, um, goat, even lamb. Like you don't really eat like you, it, it has to be younger because the the meat is more tender. It doesn't get hard. Um, A good example is when you go shopping at your grocery store and there's different types of chickens. Honestly, anybody who's been on a farm would probably have known this too. Um, because you, you can taste it. You can taste it. I should watch that. Ah, did it? called interwebs kitty oh oh god no 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 what you need now holy shit how oh, razor did that no may fear guide you speaking of TV shows and movies I still have not gotten through all of the Christmas ones
Dude, Rebel Moon. I know a lot of people say that it's... I know. I'll, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. Um, I actually liked Rebel Moon. I'm not quite sure why there's so much distaste for it. But... It actually kept my attention. I didn't get bored while watching it, which that says something. Um, and I honestly, I want, I want more. I want more of that universe. So, I'm, I am intrigued. I'm really intrigued by that universe. <clears throat> Maybe that was it. I mean, from what, okay, so from what I remember, Rebel Moon was originally advertised as a Star Wars movie, and then something happened where it did not get made as a Star Wars movie. So, I mean, it's, it's a space opera, that's for sure, but. I don't know, I actually enjoyed it. Um... Yeah, and I think that's what it was, what people were expecting. But if you go in watch like in with that expectation, I can see why people would be like, "Yeah, blah 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 blah." But I liked it. I gave it a solid eight out of ten. Um, mostly because it there's some parts that felt a little rushed. But at the same time, they give you just enough to progress the story and to make most people happy. There's some details I'm just like, ah, like, ah, what about this? The reason why it's not a full 10 out of 10 or whatever is because there's some things that you're just like, I'm hoping to God that they answer that with the next movie because this is part one. Um, but nah, I, I liked it. I liked it. Honestly, if a movie can keep my attention for however long it is, that's a win in the first place. So. There's somebody over here. There was a part that I was just like, yeah, no, you kind of, you kind of saw what was coming. When you see it, you'll, you'll probably get it too. Yeah. Nah, seriously though, it's, it's a pretty good movie. In my opinion, it's a pretty good movie. So this is what those cards go for. Right, hon, you stay here, Tasumi. You stay right there, buddy. I wonder what these are. Actually, let me check this real quick before I do this, because it might, might disappear. Gem Cutter's Promise. to God that they don't fuck that one up. The first one wasn't bad. <clears throat> you need to have three. Oh, I only have... Oh. Okay. This one says a set of three can be exchanged for a random gem of the 20% quality, so I just hold on to these and collect them. 
Oh shit. I don't know. Like the first one wasn't bad. There was some things I'm just like, I don't remember that, but. But I also haven't actually read the books, which that is my own, that's my own fault. I need to read the books. Because the only thing that I have is like the small little blips and snippets that I have gotten from like watching YouTube things and people talking about the books. There's a really good channel that just goes into like hours worth of contents of that whole entire thing with the Harkonnens and But no. The only things I have for reference are the movies and that, so. Is it Quinn? I don't know. Uh, dude, the guy is really, he does like icebergs or something. Um, let's see. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no, it's not the iceberg. How do I... Okay, we'll do this. This is a playlist of me. It might be Quinn's channel. Okay, he's definitely one of them, because these look familiar, but there's this one that, as as he's explaining it, he's got, like, a big collage of, like, as he's progressing, and it's, like, you see, like, the, all of these different pictures, and then he, like, pulls it, and then he tells you the, the re, like, the, the story behind it, and then he ties everything together. I'm not quite sure what channel that one is. <clears throat> I saw, I saw the pinkness. I saw the pinkness. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while since I went down that rabbit hole. But that guy can talk for like hours at a time on his, on his videos. So all I see is Quinn, so it was probably him, but I just remember like the the images of the presentation that was there. Yeah, I don't remember. I just remember that it was like a couple of hours, some of them. No, I think it is Quinn. It might be Quinn. Because none of the other ones look like anything. Because I think if, if Quinn also goes into like the comparisons of the movies compared to the books, compared to whatever else, then yeah, it was probably him. But I don't see the, the image things that, I'm, that I remember the most of. I don't remember.
The reason why I said iceberg was because I just remember like seeing all the things with like a big ass image, and then you got like little bits and pieces that people talk about. But it's like a collage images tying everything together. I don't know, there is a lot. This was like what was it? I think it was last year when that movie came out, or maybe it was earlier this year. It was like months before that thing came out, or maybe a little couple months after that movie came out. Yeah, I don't think it is him, but he that is some of the stuff that I have seen. Um, somebody who also references the art. <clears throat> but definitely focus on the books. Would make the comparisons once in a while to the movies that have come out. Like, you know, hey, this, this is a little bit different, but... <clears throat> yeah... I don't know. I don't know, it's been too long. We've reset, because we, we have it on the YouTube. We don't log into an account for the YouTube on the TV, and it's we've reset that thing a couple times already at this point, so... Oh, well. the way I do I do want to read them I know. I know. There's, I mean, I still, I still need to read the foundation. Like I fell off the reading book train, like back in May. <clears throat> oh dude. Tolkien books. Things are like petrified or something like <sighs> maybe we can do it next year. <laughs> We used to have a nice library here, but I think it did not survive the pandemic. It was originally that way on a corner. It turned into a lens crafting and glasses place. And then it moved that way. And that's no longer there. Um, they had a lot of um, books for like kids, a lot of school types of things, but they also had some English. A lot of a lot of art books and now the only library that is or not library we do have a library here but um, the only bookstore that is remotely close that I know of is inside 
into one of the plazas. The one that Best Buy used to be in. There's the California Pizza Kitchen in it. A movie theater. It's where the Dairy Queen is. In the Chili's. It's over there. So we had to get some documents for for my uh, my green card. But yeah. <clears throat> That's where I got the, the 1984 book. They also had a Fahrenheit uh, 451 that I'm just like, oh, I really had enough money to buy one. <gasps> they have second hand. Oh my god, dude, that's like my thing. What a field trip, pal. I remember, I remember growing up that you'd go to libraries that were selling their books. Oh, it was, it was so much fun. I enjoyed doing stuff like that. Because then you get some of those books, you're just like, oh man, like. A couple of like artwork books, things like that. Let's go explore the rest of the bats before we go up. There was a place that was called, um, oh, I don't think it's going to be there anymore. Jada Adams Bookshop. This is in downtown, in downtown, and it was three floors of physical books. Three floors. Like the image. Like holy crap, this was like I loved this I loved going to this place if I had time and money. <laughs> because oh god, it was so fun. Three floors of books stacked like this. 
stacked, like stacked. It was so much fun. Yeah, there's this. Yeah. So this is, this is actually the main floor. You can see those are the front windows. And it's just like this. This is a t picture taken on the stairs. There's more to the left. And then there's three of, three of these. It was so much fun. So much fun. I loved going there. <clears throat> if there's something like that here in Mexico, I want to cry because that's going to be amazing. Hopefully. I don't know, since physical media seems to be dying. Kind of concerning, honestly. Yeah, no. Dude, I have secondhand video game consoles. The Wii? The Wii was a secondhand. Apparently, the Xbox One that showed up at my door was a secondhand because it was refurbished in Mexico. There's a sticker on it that says so. Seriously, secondhand things? There's nothing wrong with it. Seriously, nothing wrong with it. I mean, if it's in good condition, I mean, obviously, if that thing is fucking broke as shit, I mean, there's gonna be an issue, but. Let me be honest, when you go into university and you have to go, you have your list of classes, they give you the books, you're gonna go and take your ass down to one of those bookstores onto the, on that's on campus or somewhere else and I'm going to bet that you're gonna get a used book, a used textbook, because they're like significantly cheaper than a brand new one, first of all. If you're paying, if you're going to be paying for a brand new book for a college course that you're taking for one semester, you'll be like, something's wrong with you. Something is screaming. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right, we're going to identify, port out, come back in. Just check it real quick. Kitty having to go. 
We'll come back to that. I remember Kitty having to get, like, some of her classes would have just, just straight up Xerox copies. I remember, I remember her having some of those. You have them printed out and then you have your highlighter. I remember those. I mean, even, I even have those, like, those were, uh, they were, mod were called a modules going through vet tech school. Like they're bound and everything. Oh yeah, we're gonna go in that. Hold on. Smite thee. Are you serious? Hold up, 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 hold up. You're telling me. You're telling me that the people who published this, they're trying to say that this is pirated because this was significantly cheaper or they didn't have the books involved. Are you serious? Like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> wow! That's some bullshit, but wait, wait, wait. They would rather... They'd rather you not have these. Hold on. But have... To pick for one of these. Like, Jesus Christ. This one was a brand new purchase, sadly, because they sold out of the used ones. Look at that biology book. Look at that zebra. Costs like three hundred and some odd dollars, though. Like, holy crap! Here, look. Used book. Used. Nothing wrong with it. Had a little crease on the cover, but that's you know. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I think that's why a lot of people end up going into the self-publishing 
isn't it though? Because of like how much publishers screw the authors out of things. Isn't that right? I think it's right. I think I'm reading that somewhere. Could be wrong. It's got four uh, things for it though. The highest one I've seen so far. <laughs> oh, that I know. That I know. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because I think that's where I'm supposed to end up, is over there. And I think that's why a lot of um, artists and authors and things have been like going away from it because I know the music industry I have seen some some artists who are just like yeah no I don't know why they're doing that that was like years ago like I mean I'm not saying you know shame on you know them wanting their money but like some of those copyright things get ridiculous like I'm gonna be honest this is, this is probably gonna age me a little bit but I found out a lot of music through AMVs if you don't know what an AMV is it's basically a, a music video that's ma fan-made basically generally it deals with anime that's how I learned of a lot of new music but you know that's that's bad now and it's just you're, you're limiting your audience you're limiting your discoverability and everything else there's other ways around it what I don't know because I'm not in that industry but there's got to be another way instead of like going after people who are just wanting to share like hey I like I really like this music you might like this too and I, I, I'm not wording this right. Like, seriously, most of the music that I came to know and enjoy was through A and B's. This one's not so much, but there'd be like, like artwork, like there would be somebody who would take a picture of an artist's painting and being like, hey, you know, this is really cool. And then people go and lose their goddamn minds. But like there's been some, I'm just like, oh wow, that's actually really fucking awesome. And then you get your research done and you're just like, oh wow, they do all a bunch of other types of art. And then you just, you become a fan of it, but you would never have known they even existed unless somebody told you about it. That's, I guess that's the thing I'm trying to get across. <clears throat> it's a lengthy way of saying that, yes. 100% that. just 
Yeah, that's kind of a shitty tactic for some things. But times have changed, things have changed. I don't even know where we are anymore. Half the time I'm expecting, like, some really weird thing to drop news-wise, and then at that point, I'm probably not even going to be surprised, because be like, yep, I was on the bingo card, you know? Who the fuck knows anymore at this point? I don't know. Crystal veins. Okay, let's go back to Screamy Lady now. Now I'm just thinking of the whole entire thing about uh, LeVar Burton and Reading Rainbow. If you don't know what that's about, just go type in Reading Rainbow, LeVar Burton, whatever, and be like, just watch your brain shut down. Because God forbid you're encouraging children to learn to read or just read in general. September. No, I so don't say that. Oh no, I like I just I really enjoy reading, so I'd rather read something instead of watch a movie about it. That's for sure. And then whenever I find out like, oh man, they're they're turning they're turning this into like a movie or a TV series and they're just like, holy shit, that's a train wreck. But I will give some benefit of the doubt. A good example would be, actually we'll do two of them. Ones that I can speak from experience. Um, speaking of really good classic authors and stories and stuff, obviously like The Hobbit, you know, J.R.R. Tolkien, stuff like that. We were talking about Dune earlier. Like those, I really, like I've read the... I read a lot of Tolkien books, um, like obviously the trilogy, The Hobbit, um, this, Jesus Christ, that was a hard one to read. It's, that's not the simulacrum, what is it, the, the Similarian? I think that one was, that one was hard. Because there's so many people involved and you're like, wait, who is this? Like, that's one that you need to have a, a, a book to take down notes. <laughs> like, holy shit. But yeah, so um, another one, in my opinion, that should join that would be Jose, Philip Jose Farmer. Um, he did the Riverworld series. Uh, also the Dungeon, which I highly recommend. But with those, I actually read that one. The Simo... Yeah. The Simarillion. Like this fucking is thick and it's a lot of fucking things. It's just, I read that when I was like 14. It was it was a hefty read, okay? Anyway. <laughs> so I actually I read the Riverworld series and then I found out that they actually made a movie. Or was it a TV series? I don't know. This is like way back in the day, and I was like, oh wow, sci-fi channel. And I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be so cool because I really liked the series. That thing was so goddamn disappointing, like, you would have no idea. Like, what the fuck? Ready Player One would be another book. I read the book, watched the movie. The movie is, like, super disappointing. So, in my opinion, if you can read the book, do that instead of watching the movie. Um, this is just my personal preference, but I will admit, I have found books and book series from watching TV shows or movies or finding out American Gods is one of them. I really liked the, the TV series. I thought that was great. The book was better until the ending. The ending was kind of like, what the shit? 
um, Nevermore? I think it was called Nevermore by Neil Gaiman. That one was... I read the book, watched the, the TV series, and the TV series is a little... <laughs> but, yeah, The Foundation, I've been watching the... Well, I, I started watching the TV series. I know how it was just like, yeah, no, they broke off from the story. Stopped watching it. I want to read it. I need to read it. <clears throat> Yes. Yes. Ender's Game. Yes. I can concur. Um, my ex liked audiobooks. That book played a lot. I've never actually read it. I listened to it via audiobooks because in the USA you just drive everywhere, so that's the thing that we always fucking listen to. That and The Seventh Son. And there was, like, one other thing that we listened to constantly. But yeah, no, Ender's Game, way better than the movie. Way better. But I will admit that sometimes the movies or the TV series can spark interest to go read the books. Um, I really, really enjoyed The Expanse. I haven't read the books. I have found the books. I need to read the books. But I really like the TV series. And from what I've heard, it's pretty close. They had to make some changes because the... Um, The guy that was the pilot screwed up, and they had to they had to kill him off in the in the show. So, but you know, that one definitely sparked my interest to go reading about the Expanse because holy shit. So, <laughs> I remember that um, I actually read Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I really really like that book. I really like that. I think that's one of my more favorite. Stephen King movie, uh, not movie, uh, stories. My sister watched the movie that was like way back in what the 80s or in the 90s, whenever that one came out. She said, Yeah, don't, don't watch it. If you like the book, don't watch the movie. I have still never seen the movie. I never want to. <laughs> Also, the thing that I like about when you read, what you're taking in, it gives it gives your brain like a little bit more creative freedom, so that you're not being fed, you know, whoever's making that movie or something like what they think it should be. No, you you create it in your own mind for the descriptions that they give you. I'm trying to find more armor, like, like, I guess it's like full plate body armor that's like at least three circles or more. So I guess I'm starting to get up in that part of the game. I don't know. And if I remember correctly, going back to the Ender's Game thing, if I remember correctly, the reason why it was so hard to get that movie made was because the author did not want whoever it was to take over like certain creative freedoms because Ender's Game is about kids. And I guess whoever it was that wanted to make the movie in the first place didn't want to use kids. really cool things that you find out. Um, let's identify. Yeah, this one's starting like, this is halfway there. I have six on this one, but that was nice. Sacrifice at dusk. So 
So yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you can't really shit on... I mean, you can, but in the end, sometimes it introduces people to something that they never knew existed in the first place. Like, American Gods. Fine. I would never have known that was even a thing. Hopefully I can get back into reading next year. I mean, nothing's stopping me from doing it now besides just I've, I've got so many things I really need to wrap up before I start for next year. And that is rapidly approaching. The things I have planned for next year is... Definitely more arts and crafts things so that you guys can like, basically it's like crafting with me. That sounds really weird, but once you see it, once you see what I want to do, you're going to be like, oh, hopefully. I don't know, it could be just like, yeah, no. But that's okay too. Um, when it comes to guides, I've been playing around with, um, they're called the, those YouTube shorts. Jesus Christ, this place is massive. Um, and what I was going to do was I was going to make little YouTube shorts for all of my little posts that I make just to you know, get more attention, more, more like, hey, you know, I do this stuff. Um, obviously, we're going to be doing the, the Warframe missions five minutes or less. I have that scheduled. Um, I have beat the Warframes, but I'm not going to be finishing all of the Warframes in one year because, you know, content. I would like to keep that as, you know, in case if I need to do something. I'm getting through like half of the Warframes or something next year. Um, I'm going to be doing videos of the meta missions, or not meta missions, meta maps for Guild Wars 2. I already have a decent amount of those started, so I'm gonna be making like little videos of those, and then doing the like YouTube shorts is something a little it's it's a new format for me. So thank God with Twitch and streaming, I actually have. I'll show you this. Like, there's a lot of things. This is what I watch. This is what I'm always looking at. I have this, so in case if I see something that's pretty cool. We also have the multiple streaming outlets. Um, I even, I finally have access to doing reels on Instagram. I want to do that. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what to even do. But I see people doing that like all the time on Instagram. I don't even know what to, what to even stream for that. 
to sit here. <laughs> I was reaching out, I guess. Or branching out. I'm actually enjoying the after stream sessions that we have in Discord. It's pretty fun. I'm enjoying that a lot, actually. Um, I just feel like you're. You should never settle for what you have, like, when it comes to streaming and content making, because there's always something else that you could probably do to make it better. I could be wrong, but I still feel like I'm still pretty much new at trying to figure out what I'm wanting. But I feel like I figured that out, finally, I'm hoping. So, 40% increased life recovered with immunity for ignites. Mm, not really. I, mean, I would replace it with this one because. strike. Ooh. I don't have a melee weapon though. Sounds like fun though. Let's not put that away. Generosity support. I'm not really using a lot of aura skills so I can probably not use that and put it on hold. Storm calls sets a marker at a location after a short duration. Lightning strikes that marker, dealing damage around it and causing lightning strikes at any other markers you've cast. That sounds like fun. It's a blue one. Let's put it in there for fun. For the lulls. Doesn't work off of anything else, so. Oh, I did not have to do that. It's okay, I have a lot of them anyway. Okay, put that in here. I'm gonna put this in here. I wanna transmute those, see if I get anything. Don't need that. I don't know why I put that in there. Um. So, 
just you need help with something. Yes, take this crap that I found. This is a never-ending dungeon! Ooh, another hideout option. You know, I pulled that thing out to plug in and I never did. holiday season, but we pulled this out and I was gonna use it for hotkey stuff. It'll get done. I mean, got the Xbox One out, we did the updates, got the plug. Do not have, yeah, I do have the controller. The controller's in here. Because yeah, we're doing a New Year's stream Esteban and I so some games that we're going to do we're going to be streaming <laughs> it'll be fun hopefully I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Yeah, green spooters. So I was kind of heated in there. I did not die though. <laughs> Don't get a drink here in a bit. Oh, 
I'm keeping some of these flasks, so if because if I'm understanding this correctly, you can you can put these on other characters, you can access your stash to your other characters. I don't know, I could be wrong, but Another gems. Yeah. All right, so I need a path of building community. Let's load this up. Continue on what I was working on. I don't know why she stabbed those things into her head though, like Jesus. Do the rapture now, okay? Don't die. Don't die? Uh oh, dang. We have options. We have options. Let me go get my drink real quick. But, uh...
for a little bit of a little bit of something something. Having my paloma for the day. All right, let's go. Uh oh, kitty's on the computer. What are we doing on the PC, kitty? Medication, got it. Oh my god, there's enemies everywhere! Jesus! <coughs> I missed. Yeah, I was playing around with those because I have space to play around with things because I don't have some of those gems yet. Hold on. Some gold chains. Zombie minion. Cold snap. Rune blast. That's actually how I fought in the labyrinth, was using um, Stormbind and then Rune Blast. It was... that was something. I'm having fun finding some really nifty combos though.
the hell was that? Getting further away from where he wants to go. I'll back up <clears throat> before I get so far gone. Cause there was like another place over here. Definitely a mapping person's either nightmare or wet dream. I'm not quite sure. So that's that's done. Now I go back up. the bridge Hi, Kita. What? Okay. Is she bothering you? She said she's sorry. Yeah, she better be. Now that bullshit that she pulled. Ah, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Outside to go to the bathroom with dog. And I don't know what was in her her doggo brain, but she lunged slash snapped at a dog that was passing by that did not instigate anything. Very upset with Kita and her behavior on that.
<clears throat> oh yeah, no. So basically when she does stupid shit like that, we um we end up just ignoring her. We ignore her and that she gets she gets it. She gets it. She does not like being ignored. There's also, you know, like raised voices scolding her and everything else that goes along with that too, so I was super disappointed in her for that. Because it was so it was a smaller dog than her. So minding his own business. It had its nice cute little sweater on because it was cold. And she just went after it. So not like he does, honestly. Oh, don't you too much cut on me. Losing some stuff, but getting a lot of other stuff. I don't have anything for fire damage, though. I'll be losing my cold damage and the cast speed, but the attack speed is the same as the casting speed. But you also gain four life per enemy killed, plus 60 to maximum mana, increased stun duration on enemies. Yeah, no. Kida, Kida apparently has thought it over. <laughs> Seems to be okay now.
Holy shit. Underground Hydra. Oh, I that one up. We got white, uh, white slots. Holy sh shit. That was something. That's the first time I've ever seen a white one in the, in the wild. Okay, that's cool. This is not what I thought it was though. What happened to my little... Uh... These guys are weird. <clears throat> Whew, are we ready to go in there? I think so.
was just thinking that I never got to do the exploration of the guy's uh, mine, but that's because I'm still in the mines. It's for the cheers, Giddy. Oh, don't you too much clutter me on this. Interested about these. What is it, exile? Sparkles like that. Yes. Come back to that and go explore the rest of this side real quick. What you barking about, huh? What you barking about? Your nose is cold. Yes, it is. Your nose is cold. And wet. Surprise, this dog thinks that she hears things half the time.
Slaughter, huh? Okay, that's the highest one I've seen so far. Like anywhere. Five slot bow. Nice. Okay. Stranger in a strange land. There were like three chests here. Anything good? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Clearly, we went a little crazy into that. I thought this is an inferno mobile, and I'm like, what the fuck is an inferno mobile? Oh, don't shoot too much cut at me. Don't take my shit.
Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Lead the way, skeletons! Definitely goals. Oh, baby girl. We're going. <clears throat> Put one hell of a trek into this. One. Which one do we put that down? Probably not, but here we go. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna go sell real quick. No, 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 keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, God, it's like that Balthazar fight all over again. I did it. Yeah. Holy crap. fun. Kind of crazy, kind of hectic, but that, yeah, we got it. That is it. Yep, okay. I'll take that loot that you dropped. I'm selling and be like, yeah, that's some loser that I murdered. Dropped this. <laughs> Sorry. That guy almost killed me a couple times. <laughs> that was fun.
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, I missed these. Take this, 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 this. For some reason, I'm like, those are really interesting corncob sculptures. I kind of figured they were skulls, but I've now looked at them thoroughly. Well, kind of. I killed the ruler of this realm. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing back here. Do you know who I am? I think that one guy that I killed, if I ever meet him again, he better be screaming my name. It's to establish dominance somehow, right? I killed you once, I'll do it again! Those are going to be there for a bit. Up. What do you need now? Everything here. Take this. I found those from from things I murdered because you told me to go do that.
Mm. That was some weird penalty for dying. I have no idea. I don't want to die. It just happens. Most of the time it's because I'm not fully paying attention. I'm looking at something else. To be honest, this this the scenery is very, very uh attention seeking. I'm like, wow, look at that lava. And then I start wondering, like, god damn, it's gotta be incredibly hot here, right? Oh wait, yeah, we do go that way. I think. <clears throat> Where's the bridge? These guys again. Triggers online. Never skip leg day. That is. Never skip leg day. I feel like I could come in here and just farm the shit out of this stuff day in, day out. That's probably a lot of people do when I'm trying to level. Just go and find like a dungeony area and just clear it out. 
Rinse and repeat. I did your thing. Because level 10. Holy crap. I've been going crazy with that. I gave up on trying to do organization. Ooh. This is a good one. that I have so far? Large jewel sockets. I'm gonna go in with this. We're not leveling that side up at the moment. We have to go back down over here. Two... See where I can stick that jewel because I want to use it. I'm not gonna be for that part. It looks like that's gonna be the next one. That's so far away though. And then I have wait. Oh, where's that other one that I have? Which is like the the oh here it is, it's right here. Looks like I've got Mistress of Sacrifice. 
Okay. Ooh, Commander of Darkness? What? Yeah! Anyway. So we did that one. Fight people? Uh. Steel Paw and Eye Pecker. Those are such creative names. Like, sound a little disappointed, but after that last one that I just did, this one seems to be a little bit easier. I'm just saying, I don't know. Probably just, you know, said that and I'm gonna curse myself, but you know, hey. happened to okay literally just cruising through the trenches here at this point
that we use clear. <clears throat> That's a lot of them right there. right I check got that stuff done let's go into the little red zone the corrupted zone yes Wait, 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 wait. That was it. Seriously? Let's go and finish killing the rest of these things. That's it. Aight. At Ziri is my love and my life. I give one so that I might have the other for all eternity. Aww. That's so romantic. something in here with me.
Honestly, you it's not that odd from what I have been told. Apparently that's a lot more common than one would think. scroll <clears throat> what do you want? yeah I think that's exactly why people ask for that it's because you have quiet neighbors they don't want to deal with people I'm in here. I was fuck this, fuck that. I'm like a giant cat, like psh, 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 knock over your crap. wondering. Alright, so I am supposed to be working on this over here. Have... That one. Oh, there's a waypoint right here. Well, shit. I had a feeling those would come alive after doing that labyrinth thing. The statues came alive.
Okay, we're in the arena. We did stuff. We murdered everything. Okay, maybe we have to do both. I don't know. Oh shit. Or fuck. <laughs> Woo. Clear this out. Go back, portal back, sell the stuff. Oh, that was hella crazy though. Just map in, all of a sudden, just enemies everywhere. Hella crazy. Hella crazy. Screw you and your armor rack. Oh, you want you want cookies? You want recognition? Good job. So you had a really shitty childhood. You had a really shitty growing up. Seriously, you're not the only one. First, there's other people in this universe that had issues. Fucking stroking some ego on this guy.
This one got my scrolls of wisdom replenished, like, jeez. Seriously thinking I wasn't gonna have a lot. There we go, come on. This guy's got living statues going on in his place, like seriously. It's kinda of fucked up. <clears throat> Aw, you found enough with someone. Was it your executioner? your love, okay? Did I just kill his love? Oh, I think I know, dude. I thought I saw that name. Oh my god, I think I just fucked up. She started it. <laughs> yeah. What he was talking about, he saw that her eyes, the love, and everything else, and I swear to God, I just saw the name of that, of that chick that he was in love with. But why is she down here, first of all? Also, she started the fight. It's called survival. I mean, that's what you were saying earlier, dude. Survival. Well, me surviving. Also, if you loved her so much, if this is your arena, why did you have her down in here with with all of this, huh? Huh? Why? Some fucked up love, bro. Vol's murdering you, you sick psychopath? Fine. Yeah, that one, the Lady Merville. I swear to God, that was the name down there. And she screamed. Why was she down there? I swear to God. I swear to God, that 
was heard down there. There was a scream. Six psychopathic crazy men. Oh, he's healing. Why is he healing? Whoa, 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 whoa. But he, he was doing something. Run around, run around, run around. Swords, the swords come around me. Yeah. And she's not real? What? Scroll. I played the yeah, I played the played the fifth man. I had yes. I don't know. All I know is fight to survive on that. And then some crazy thing comes after me. There's a scream. is down here. She's so warm. Kita's warm. Look, Kita's warm. She's very warm right here. 
She's been, she's been, she's been doing the thinking right here. She gets bored when she starts to think right there. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Also, she, her, like, just her head. She's just warm. She's very warm. Her ears are warm. What? You want one? You want you want a late Christmas present? And she's like, yes. No, next time we get a Twitch payout, we have to buy you more more, more good snacks. Yeah, we have to get we have to get a Twitch payout, which is like probably two months from now. It's okay. You see that? You saw that? Go murder. This is revenge. This is a revenge story. She's upset at spaghetti for very good reasons. Let's go. Balls in the floor and in the wall, probably in the ceiling too. And tentacles. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, alright. Oh, this is juicy looking. Me of the stuff I ate before stream. It's a nice sound. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, ready? That sounds like celery being broken in half.
sounds, that sounds nice and right to lead you, see. a nice sound. I can't stop opening them. This sounds so fun. Ah, oh, don't do that to me. Does not work with arc? Oh, yeah, no, I see you. Okay. Oh. I might replace that one with this one then. Hmm. portal back. Me too. Come back for that later. Put this here. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. I'm just trying to get a lot of this stuff. Speaking of Doritos, you know what sucks? Doritos. Anyway. Um, so the Soriana had like their own homemade version of Doritos, right? They were pretty good. They stopped making them. Now just plain totopos or nacho chips. The level of disappointment is amazing. Oh, there's no connection to that. Alright, let's backtrack all the way. Or something, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get away from some of that. Oh, 
we go. Check a little bit more, go into that little zone down here. Like that sounds a lot. The belly of the beast. Level dos. Alright, that looks a little phallic, I'm not gonna lie. this way. And that just keeps going. Let's go back up here. Spooter. I have found out that summon skeletons is amazing because unlike the zombies. They just, they, they will charge into fights. Like, they go actively looking for fights, which is nice.
right, so that's the door that we need to go to, right? Yeah. The powers of the beast. So let's go finish mapping the rest of this. So when we're done, we can just teleport back. Can I do it in eight minutes? Probably not. First looks like it would smell. Like a rotting meat or sweaty flesh. One of the two. Maybe both. I don't know, but like. Yeah, I don't know. Or it might smell like infection. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. Like. When I still had that ability to smell, um, I remember when, when cats and dogs would come in and they would have, they would, they would, they smelled infected. Like, this, they smelled like they were sick, like they had an infection. And there's this, there, you, I don't know how to word that. Like, I can't even think of how, how to even explain or describe what that smells like. No! I was doing so good though, but she does like that zoom thing. Oh, it's kind of hard to avoid that most of the time. That's twice I've underestimated it. Oh man. It's now that your talents have proved to exceed even mine. So it looks like you'll be the one to finish what I so blindly started. What did you start? I don't to remember. As was in the, the little girl within me that shies from dark. Okay. Wait. Oh shit, seriously? There's no corpses. Sphincter. <laughs> oh. mm. The harvest. 
Yeah, look, those skeletons, they're just going nuts. Marina there. Stuck on silly things right now. Okay. Oh wow, that's actually almost on point, but we have to finish this and then we'll be going. <clears throat> Go back to this waypoint. We can sell stuff. Come back. It's like my, I need to sort that shit out. Come on, come on. We got this, we got this. We're almost done with this. We're almost done with this. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Shouldn't have regrets. Come on. I feel like I could get lost in this game for 
hours. There's always gonna be just like one more. There's uno mas. Oh crap, there's another thing over here. Oh boy, okay. Why do we have so many arenas in here? Actually, this is the intro song. Kill the Malachi's three guardians. Okay. So I'm not gonna get this done tonight. What do you think? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. Alright, boys and girls, and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. Be catching you guys tomorrow doing some Guild Wars 2. We're almost done with this. Almost done with the schedule for the year. Um Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be wrapping this up. I might do a little bit more of this off stream. Um, I do know that post streaming, I am going over to Discord for like the after party stream. Basically, that's what we're doing. It's fun. So if you guys like want to chat it up or whatever, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. So then take care, stay safe, stay warm. I would say you got Taco Bell money, but A, Taco Bell's gross. B, we don't have Taco Bell and C. Do you have, do you, you want to you want to support that nasty habit? <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>